Hello, my gorgeous Pisces. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid June 2023. Pisces, I hope you're well. It's lovely to be with you. Um, Pisces, in meditation, I simply saw a woman getting out of a stretch limousine and two or three guys running around trying to straighten the red carpet as she was getting out of the car and about to walk up steps. I almost got the impression that it was last minute. So Pisces, I don't know whether somebody's going to be literally rolling out the red carpet for you, but sort of last minute. But whoever this is, I feel has suddenly got the wake up call that you're worth it, that you deserve it, whatever this is for you. It could be that your boss suddenly realises how much work you put in over the year and it might be last minute your boss gives you a promotion or a pay rise. It could be that if this is romance then you may realise that somebody might have been watching what you're posting on the internet whether or not it's photographs on Facebook or Snapchat or TikTok, whether or not it is on YouTube, you may have a YouTube channel Whatever this is, someone's been watching you posting something and you have sort of massively risen in their estimation. Maybe they just see you doing well in the work that you do or that you faced adversity and you're sort of pushing forward. They've got an enormous amount of respect for you, Pisces, and it's due to that that they are suddenly deciding to make a move. But this person may have been sitting on the fence for the longest time. Your boss may have put off giving you a pay rise for the longest time. Or this person may have not been in contact for months, maybe even years. Suddenly something that they're seeing is making them roll out the red carpet. But it is last minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Pisces. Without further ado, guys, let's shift into this reading and see what comes through. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. And if you guys want a private reading, my website link is in the description box below. And if you'd like to join the channel, I would be delighted to welcome you as a member. All right. So, Pisces, are you ready? Are you not? But they're coming in. You're not going to know what to say or how to react. Okay, i.e., hmm, okay, this flipped around, but I don't take reversals. I.e., if this is your boss, you may be tempted to say to them, well, what the hell took you so long? You know, blimey, I've been working my socks off for five years. You've only just recognised that I deserve a promotion. But the divine is saying, be gracious, Pisces. Be gracious with this person. Be appreciative and listen rather than speaking initially. Listen, there could have been a very good reason why they hadn't been in touch with you for a long time or they haven't given you a promotion for a long time. Could be the company was going through problems. It could be this person that maybe wasn't speaking to you had to sort out another situation. Okay? Because you may be tempted to fire off and ruin what might be a really beautiful moment. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Archangel Michael, thank you. I don't know why, I'm hearing Ecclesiastes 10. I'm also hearing 11. I'll look that up. Sometimes I get scripture references coming through, as you know. got a lot of stuff coming through Pisces but I can't decipher it so let's just get straight into this reading it'll come through when it needs to okay all right guys now the deck is cut let's have a look at these cards all right wow so Pisces this is beautiful energy oh my goodness um Pisces the divine is saying you're going to get some kind of justice in a situation okay Somebody wants to reunite with you and they want to move to calmer waters with you. Now, if this is to do with a job, it could be somebody offers you a pay rise or a bonus and there's going to be celebration just before you decide to hand in your notice. Okay. 
I feel this is love, guys, but we will see what comes through. But that is lovely energy. Pisces, you may feel when this happens, oh my goodness, I wondered if this person was going to do the right thing. You're going to get some kind of balance due to them arriving, talking to you, explaining a few things. Hmm. Two of Wands, yeah, Pisces. I'm getting an image of, I want to say Zippy. Zippy, wasn't Zippy in the Muppets? Wow, that was a long time ago. You know, literally, he couldn't stop talking and he had a zip for a mouth. So when people didn't want him to talk too much, they just used to zip his mouth up. <laughs> it's a funny comedy. It's like, you know, children's thing. But I, I, I'm just hearing zippy. Don't know where that came from. Pisces, it could be that the divine is saying. Um, hold back on talking. Let this person do the talking first. Before you complain to your boss, it's been five years. Before you tell this person where to go, right? Um, I want to say, in the nicest sense, Pisces, zip it. Okay? Zip it. Because you could ruin a beautiful moment. They want you to sit at crossroads and think about an opportunity. These gates are opening. Do you want to step through into another cycle? A new cycle? Something that's going to bring about growth. Just listen is what I want to say. The chariot. Because someone's coming in very, very quickly to talk to you. It may seem a little bit all over the place. It may seem a bit rushed. It may be that you think... What took you so long, right? You may have a tendency to sit in the energy of being a little bit sarcastic. Pisces, don't do that. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. You know that. Just listen to what this person has to say, because there is a decision you'll have to make. You could be hearing from a fire sign or a Cancerian in particular, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In the past, with the moon, there was a lot of fear pertaining to what might be hidden. Or you develop deep feelings for someone, Pisces, but it wasn't the right time. I, I want to say that. Whatever this is, it wasn't the right time for this to move forward, for you to get your pay rise, for this person and you to move forward into a relationship. It just wasn't the right time. They may have been keeping secrets from you. You may have been sat in a place of fear. It wasn't right back then. Yeah. But after a certain period of time, you sat in your head and you did a lot of thinking about this. If this is to do with a job, you might be thinking, oh, when is the right time to leave? You know, I'm not getting paid enough. If this is a relationship, Pisces, you may have been up in your head feeling as if you met your person, but somehow it just didn't move forward and you being you Pisces many of you are awoken many of you are light workers you did not chase this person if this is romantic so you may have wondered what that was all about why you met someone in the past hmm. what you're thinking about Pisces is in the next I want to say few weeks there's an opportunity for your ship to come in now, this could be somebody suggesting that they transfer you to another office and pay you double. And this is you thinking, oh my goodness, what do I do? It's going to be a bit of an upheaval. I may have to move areas. It could be for others of you, this is somebody who wants to visit you from another area. And they want to make sure that when they get to where you are, you're available and you would be open to talking to them. But whatever this is, Pisces, you're thinking about change. In the immediate future, the lovers, you could be hearing from a Gemini Pisces or for many of you, this is romantic. OK. It could be you feel a very deep soul connection with someone, but it didn't work out and it could be that they're coming back. Yeah. 
What you're fearing is that you're gonna to have to hold back from this person with a strength card. For some of you, you may be fearing a Leo turning up. Wow. What this person is thinking about Pisces is you. They're thinking about the Queen of Cups. Wow. How loving, open and giving you are. A beautiful heart. This is somebody who may feel guilty about what happened in the past somehow. What, <laughs> what you're hoping for, Pisces, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, is a king of wands. I mean, this is a highly attractive man who takes action. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? That's what you're hoping for. You could be simply hoping to hear from an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. All right, the outcome, page of coins. So Pisces, there's going to be, for some of you, an apology. For others of you, somebody wants to date you. It may be a shock. It could be that this is the person that you met in the past, you felt this deep connection with, but it didn't move forward into anything. It didn't work out. Maybe Pisces, they were with somebody else at the time. Maybe Pisces, you two live thousands of miles away and maybe this person is now moving. I don't know. But they're definitely thinking about you. But what you're thinking about is, mm, are they connected to somebody else? You're a little bit nervous. So Pisces for you, yeah. Clarity, two swords, you. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing, interesting. I'm hearing for many of you, you see through the veil. Now, is this you being psychic, Pisces? Possibly. Um. You know you have to make a decision. You may pretend, Pisces, you don't know why they've returned to you or you don't know why they're communicating with you, but you do. You know exactly why this person is coming in. It could be you've known that they maybe needed to apologise to you. It could be for others of you, you know that they had a choice between you and somebody else. You may play dumb, Pisces. Oh, it's a, such a shock to see you, but maybe something deep inside makes you feel it's not such a big surprise, you know? Okay, each to their own. Six of Pentacles. This is somebody, Pisces, who wants to put in the work. This is somebody who Maybe divorcing for some of you. Six of Pentacles is dividing the assets for me. This is what you're thinking about. Do I make a decision to take this person back? They say they're going to put in effort, but will they? They say they're going to get a divorce, but are they lying to me? You're nervous. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this person's energy, ten of wands. Oh my Lord, Pisces. They're highly stressed. I think this is somebody who's been hanging on to an old cycle. They've been utterly miserable and they're deciding to let go and to move towards you. Now this could be simply a lot of burden relating to the fact that they might have fallen in love with you in the past, Pisces, but couldn't do anything about it. And they're deciding how now is the time I'm going to move towards Pisces and just tell her how I feel or tell him how I feel, you know. It could be with the Ten of Wands. This is someone who is really struggling in a connection they are still in, but they've decided to let it go and they want to tell you. I almost feel as if they may want to tell you before they actually disconnect from this person or situation to make sure that you're on board. Because I don't think you guys have spoken for quite a while. Five of Swords. <laughs> They're trying to escape a situation. They may be coming in extremely fast. Um, the Chariot, the Five of Swords is fast, fast, fast. It can be somebody who might be a bit self-serving, so just be careful. Or Pisces, it's simply maybe somebody who wants to fight to be with you. Maybe they realise that you're going to get snapped up pretty soon and they've understood that that would make them really unhappy. So this is you, maybe, Pisces, getting justice, 
moving to calmer waters and this is celebration with somebody you haven't you haven't seen for a long time maybe i would have thought pisces definitely travel involved six of swords is you know showing a boat and water we've got a ship and water here we got the chariot, which is travel. This is somebody traveling to see you, to talk. This is someone who wants to know, do you still feel the same way? Or are you totally uninterested now? This is someone trying to sound you out. So underneath the deck, Pisces, we got the five of coins. Now this is somebody who left you out in the cold. And it may well be that you get up in your head about this. What do I do? What do I do? I think the divine is saying, don't sit in a place of fear, Pisces. Deep breath. Listen to what this person has to say. Don't say anything you may regret. Okay. Like, I don't understand why you're ringing me or coming to see me because I'm not interested. Just listen to what this person says. Okay. Oh, all right. Beautiful Pisces. So if you're ready, guys, let's jump in. Archangel Michael, what is the two of wands crossed with a chariot? Wow. Okay. Nine of wands. Pisces, I've got to admit, when this person rushes in saying that they want to talk to you and you realise you have a decision to make, you are going to feel stressed. I've got to be honest. Page of Swords, it's going to be a rather strange, unemotional message. I mean, this, for instance, could be somebody messaging you out of the blue. Pisces, I really want to talk to you. Are you around next week? When is convenient for you, right? No show of emotion. They simply want to know, are you conducive to meeting up with them? Now, that may suggest that this person didn't treat you well in the past and they're worried that basically you're going to tell them where to go. So they're not going to be opening up their heart if they think you're going to slam the door in their face, you know. But this is somebody who definitely wants to see you. I do feel that if travel is involved, then they're not going to be booking flight tickets or train tickets or spending three hours in a car. If your immediate response, Pisces, is hell no, no way, right? So they're trying to sound you out. Are you open to at least talking? What is Pisces thinking about when this happens, Michael? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Are they coming in to talk about a relationship? Temperance. Um, there could be a connection with a Sag. You could have Sag in your chart or the angels are actually guiding this, which is interesting. Has this person realised what they lost in you when they didn't pursue you or they treated you badly? This is also you, Pisces, fighting heightened emotions. You may feel a bit stressed, a bit all over the place in your head. They're saying just calm down and again, relax. Try to relax. Just listen to what this person has to say. Okay? Okay. Yeah, just listen to what they have to say. Ten of coins. It could be that you realise they want to talk to you about a relationship that they were in, in the ten of coins. It could be Pisces, this is somebody who wants to offer you long-term commitment. But whatever this is, Pisces, you're thinking about the ten of pentacles. Archangel Michael, what happened in the past with the moon? Okay. Four of coins. Pisces, you may have had some financial stress in the past, and so this is you getting your head down at work. For others of you, this is you quietly hanging on to the hope that someone would return to you, but they didn't. I don't think they did. Pisces, I don't think they did. Okay, Empress, this person may have been married or this person was with someone and had a child. 
Whatever this was, Pisces, you may well have moved yourself into the Empress energy as a single person and simply concentrated on nurturing yourself. But at the same time, in the back of your mind, wondering if someone was going to return to you. Yeah, so Pisces, you decided to get your head down and start working, okay, maybe to build up your foundation, in which case you did well. You moved from the Four of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles quite quickly. Yeah. If this is romantic, you realise that this person might have been in a relationship with an empress, okay, their wife, mother of their child, Maybe, though, it was based on financial security and the love wasn't there, which is why they moved towards you. After that time, Pisces, you were in your head about this, almost to say, why did we even meet? You know? Okay, nine of cups. Pisces, you couldn't decide whether or not this is a dream come true or this person simply wanted to be indulged. What was Pisces thinking about? Yeah, why did they leave so fast? Seven of Swords, what were they hiding? What actually went on here? Pisces, this could be somebody who even ghosted you. Or this is somebody who portrayed the fact that they wanted to be with you, but then they didn't follow through at all and left you sort of hanging. Really challenging energy. What's on Pisces' mind right now? What you're thinking about Pisces is... Oh my goodness, they're coming to see me. That ship is going to dock at the port, right? What is this going to be like? Is it going to be awkward? Is it going to be romantic? Is this person going to turn up with flowers? Are they going to say, Pisces, I'm so sorry I lied to you? You have no idea what to expect. But this person definitely wants to talk to you. They definitely want to talk to you. So what is on Pisces' mind? What is on Pisces' mind? The Hierophant. So Pisces, for some of you, you may feel this person wants to talk to you about a marriage they were in. They may want to say to you they felt a very strong soul connection with you, spiritual connection. You could be thinking about the concept of a relationship. If this person wants to be with me, how would I feel about this? For others of you, you could simply be connecting with a Taurus. But you're thinking about the Hierophant. Star energy. Maybe you feel this would be all your wishes coming true. Maybe you're hoping to connect with an Aquarius. Maybe you think somebody is moving towards you to heal a connection and to say they're ending a marriage. Heal the connection with you, Pisces. Queen of Wands, but you're nervous. Am I still going to be the other woman? Or, Pisces, you're thinking how attracted you are to this person, this King of Wands. And I've got to say, guys, you've got a true pair. King and Queen of Wands. This is going to be really tough to push this person away if you feel you should. But again, listen to what they have to say, Pisces, you know. It may shock you what they come out with. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the lovers next to the Queen of Cups? Thank you. In the future. Pisces, this is somebody coming in wanting to talk to you. They're obviously thinking of you. For some of you, they could be connected to a Cancerian, a fellow Pisces or a Scorpio. And they're thinking of ending it. But this is somebody coming in. Okay, 19th of July, straight out, 19th of July, 23rd of July, 8th of August, 24th of August. I'm seeing somebody texting, don't worry, I'll book it, I'll see you there. Okay, Pisces, this person may suggest you meet at a restaurant, because I'm assuming this isn't a coffee shop because they're booking it. This is somebody booking a table somewhere. It may even be a nice restaurant, Pisces, if they have to book. Could be a popular restaurant, an expensive restaurant. I've, okay, I'm now seeing somebody now rolling out the red carpet again in this event. Desperately trying to straighten the carpet before this woman goes up the steps onto this red carpet. Pisces, they're going to be rolling out the red carpet, okay? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So what is this person going to say to Pisces? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, two of Cups, Pisces. I mean, that is somebody who sees you and simply says, I'm in love with you. Now, if they don't actually say it, then you will be able to see it in their face. When you look at this person, you're going to think, oh, my goodness, the way they're looking at me. OK, uh, this is someone who loves me. What is this person saying to Pisces? OK, exactly what you were thinking in the past, Pisces, which is it was destiny that we met. This is somebody who wants to move into a brand new cycle with you. Page of Wands. They may say something about your appearance, Pisces. They may say, oh, you're as beautiful as I remembered, or oh my goodness, you're as handsome as I remembered. Whatever this is, there's going to be a lot of talk. And this person's going to make it clear they find you very, very attractive. What are they going to say to Pisces? The death card. I've ended a connection or I'm ending a connection with a woman I had a child with, possibly. This person could be a Scorpio. Whatever this is, they want to transform the connection with you in order to move forward. For you to accept them back into your life. What else is this person saying to Pisces? Okay, all right. Pisces, they're going to be honest. I mean, the two of coins in the world is, I was struggling you with somebody else. I'm so sorry. I couldn't make a decision or it was difficult. That cycle is now over. The cycle of me juggling you with somebody else is done. I'm ending another connection. How about it, Pisces? How about it? <laughs> wow. Now, Pisces, if this person lived at a distance and you thought, well, maybe they just disconnected because they felt it was too far to travel, to maintain a relationship, unbeknown to you, Pisces, unless you had your spidey senses tingling, um, this is somebody who was definitely in a relationship with somebody else at a distance, okay? You may never have known because you may not have visited this person in their area. You may have only been dating a short time, but it's done. What is the world energy, Michael? What is the world energy? Okay. This is somebody who is ending a cycle of being a bit manipulative and they're trying to manifest you back into their life. Could be a Virgo, Scorpio or Gemini. Strong Scorpio, I have to say. They're wanting to manifest victory and success. Could be a Leo. What are they saying to Pisces? I want to be with you. I mean, this is somebody saying, I want a relationship with you. I want you to be my woman. I want you to be my partner. This feels right. They could be manifesting an ending with a queen of coins somebody that they are detaching from. What else are they saying to Pisces? You have a lot to think about, guys. Okay, there may have been a lot of arguments with a karmic partner and they are done. It could be that they're saying to you, I was conflicted as to whether or not to tell you the truth, but the truth is I fell in love with you, but I was actually in a connection with somebody else. I didn't know what to do about that, but I've got you on my mind 24-7, and so I had to finally come in and talk to you. Yeah, but Pisces, this is looking pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. What is this person saying to Pisces? King of Cups, this is somebody who hid their feelings from you. Now, this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We've got all of those elements in this reading already. Mm-hmm. What is Pisces saying to this person? Four of Cups. Pisces, remember not to speak before thinking. You are going to say to this person, and be nice, Pisces, if you can. You are going to say to this person, I was very disappointed. It didn't work out with you in the past. 
And then Pisces, you're going to say, I possibly realised, I realised that maybe it was just chemistry between the two of us. It was not supposed to last. What is Pisces going to say to this person? I intuited that there might be somebody else or it was just attraction between us and so I disconnected because I felt you might be hiding something from me. Again, Pisces, I'm not getting the fact that you are arguing with this person, raising your voice with this person, judging this person. You're not. You're just speaking your truth about what you thought at the time. But you're not saying it in an angry way. You're just being honest. And I think this person would appreciate the honesty. What else is Pisces saying to this person? Okay, you may even go so far, Pisces, as say to this person, I thought what you were hiding was the fact that you were married to someone. Aries energy. Yes, you were in a commitment with someone and you were married. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. What else is Pisces saying to this person? And I felt very disappointed. I thought, well, that's that then. So Pisces, that's why you possibly didn't communicate with this person if they just cut off from you. But I tell you what, with the King of Cups and the Two of Cups, um, this is someone in love. They're ending a cycle of juggling you with somebody else. I think they're ready to end a cycle, being connected to another person that may be they've just been with for financial security or this person was codependent on them. So you've got some thinking to do. What is the energy between the two of you? Let's see, the sun. So this definitely could have been somebody who lived at a distance, so could have easily have hidden another relationship. This is also, though, enlightenment, Pisces, that you made this person very happy and possibly vice versa. They're realising that they made you happy. And this is both of you looking at moving into a new cycle, which is going to bring about a lot of change in both of your lives. This is a significant turning point, Pisces, this conversation, this evening, whatever happens at the time that you meet, I do think it's going to be in the evening, possibly in a nice restaurant. <laughs> now, Pisces, maybe you're thinking, you know what, they're going to book a nice restaurant because they don't want me to cause a scene and storm out. It's rather like a boss who takes you to a very nice place to eat for lunch because they want to say, I'm sorry, but we're letting you go because they know you can't make a massive scene in the middle of a restaurant, right? But Pisces, this is beautiful. All right, well, we end with the page of coins. Now that's somebody turning up with a gift. It could also be someone saying that they're giving the mother of their child child support. It could be this person simply wanting to date you, wanting to do things traditionally, so let's see. What is the page of coins? The tower. It's going to be a shock. Aries Scorpio energy. It's going to be a shock. And it has you looking at the past, sat in nostalgia. Remembering times with this person, wondering whether or not this is a good idea. What is Pisces considering here, Michael? Three of Swords. That there might have been a lot of heartbreak based around this connection. Oh, wow. You could have felt betrayed and deceived. This person may have put you through the Ten of Swords. What is Pisces thinking about? That they left you alone. That you had to do a lot of soul searching about this. 
You could have felt betrayed by a Virgo. What's Pisces going to say to this person? I don't know what to do. I don't quite know what to say. Hangman. You may say to this person, it seems a bit strange because you've taken your time. I mean, Pisces, for some of you, this might have been years ago. What took you so long is what you want to say to this person. What is this person's response? What are they going to say if Pisces says, what took you so long? Eight of Cups. They were trying to make a decision about a connection they were in. Do I really want to walk away from another connection and pursue Pisces? So that took them a while to decide to do. Archangel Michael, can we just figure out what is the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords? Because I don't like that. That's someone hanging on to a cycle that's become heavy and the Five of Swords can be somebody wanting to escape a situation. So what is the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords, Michael? What situation is this person really in? Okay, Four of Wands. They could have become engaged to someone and they realised, having met you, that they didn't want to actually marry them. So this is somebody who's broken off an engagement. It could be this is someone who was living with a long-term partner and it's just become too much because they kept thinking about you. It could be this is someone who is married, but they don't want to be married to that person anymore. And this is why they're coming to talk to you. What are they saying to Pisces? Yeah, Knight of Coins. So this is someone serious. They do want to offer you the start of what could be a relationship. They're going to want to they're going to want to spend time with you. They're going to want to talk to you about dating you. It may be a bit tricky Pisces if you live at a distance, but you're going to chat about this. What is this person saying to Pisces? Oh wow. Okay. That they've been thinking a lot about reaching out to you to apologize with the page of cups. This is someone, though, who sat on this for quite a long time. Maybe they didn't know what to say. Maybe they didn't know what to do about the connection they were in. What is this person saying to Pisces? I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry and that I love you, Knight of Cups. Whew, okay. Archangel Michael, what is this person thinking about? Ace of Swords. Yeah, Pisces, this person is serious. Um, they're planning on detaching from a very heavy cycle that they've been in for quite a long time. And they want to come forward to you and tell you the truth. Okay? The truth of why it took them so long to move towards you. The truth of what really went on behind closed doors that you may not have known about. And the truth about the fact that they love you. But they are breaking free. So this is somebody who's being honest with you if they say to you, my past situation is done. What are they saying to Pisces, Michael? Ace of Cups, yeah, they love you. Oh my goodness. Pisces, this person may have fallen in love with you pretty quickly. And then thought, oh my goodness, but what am I going to do about my other situation? It might have got heavier and heavier with the other person, Pisces, because they realised they loved you. I've got to be honest, they may have moved towards you initially for a bit of light flirtation, a couple of nights of passion, without thinking you'd ever find out that they were in a relationship with someone else. So they're coming in to tell you the truth. You're going to want to have a few days to consider what you want to do, or you may automatically think, I know what to do. This person hurt me. They didn't tell me the truth. And so it's done. And this person's going to have to accept maybe staying as acquaintances or friends. Or this is you saying to this person, well, it's going to take a while for us to sort of patch things up for, for me to trust you again. But we can try. Again, I'm hearing 
don't react too harshly too quickly. I think there's a lot that this person was stressed about, a lot. And yes, of course, that's no reason for them not to be honest with you, but give them the benefit of the doubt is what I want to say. Do we have a final card for Pisces, Michael? Do we have a final card for Pisces? Nine of coins. Now, Pisces, this is you thinking, goodness me, well, I've been single for quite a long time. Am I ready to make a change? Am I ready for a relationship? For others of you, you're going to be realising that this person is going to become single. It could be with the Ten of Wands, they got a lot of stuff to tie up at their end. So it may well be that this works for you, because if there is distance, this isn't somebody who's going to be able to immediately see you every other evening, okay, for instance. I think they want to touch base to tell you how they feel, to tell you they're ending another situation and to find out, are you feeling the same way about them? Have they missed the boat? Is there a chance that you would take them back? Because they want this. Pisces, it's actually very exciting. Underneath the deck, six of cups, this is somebody coming back from the past. Oh yeah. Not only that, this is a past life soulmate. I think from here, guys, let's get into messages. Let's see what this person would want to say to you. Here we go, guys. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak from the Heart, Volume 2, Diane Garris. Let's see what this person would want to say. Oh, that flipped. Okay. I realise I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. And... I learned so much from you, even if you didn't know that. Thank you. All right. Did they learn diplomacy? Did they learn to be truthful? Did they learn honesty? What else does this person want to say to Pisces? All right. The way we triggered each other felt too painful. And I didn't understand at the time. The reason both of you felt triggered by the other was that this is a very deep past life connection, Pisces. So you were mirroring each other's feelings. I dream of you. I didn't think I could be what you needed or wanted me to be. Insecurity, maybe, Pisces, from this person. Last message, Michael. Memories of us still linger, even after all this time. So, Pisces, this is not someone that left your life or rushed away from you last week, last month. This was a while ago. They can't seem to forget you. And so they're coming in. It's up to you guys. I think this person wants to, first of all, ask for your forgiveness. They want to patch up the situation with you initially. They want to rebuild the trust. They're very happy to take their time as long as they know that there's a chance of you two actually working on a relationship. Because I think that they are then going to go back and tie up loose ends relating to somebody else. But I think they just want to sound you out and see if there's a chance that you would reconsider a relationship with them, okay? But this is beautiful. So Pisces, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Take care of you, sending love and light your way, and I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye Pisces.